What's up, people? It's your boy Jatwad. I'm here today in Kerbal Space Program. As you can see here, we are closing in on attaching yet another component to our station. This is fun. <laughs> because uh, this thing, oh, I found out is that, of course, this is my second, third, I lost count. I've made a few asteroid bases, but usually I expand on the unit itself. I usually don't expand from multiple joints from that particular uh, base. Now, from what I've seen, from what I've seen, it should let me do this. It should let me uh, connect up different locations and each one still ties into the main base. I believe <laughs> we'll find out really quickly. Uh, I, those of you that have done this before probably already know. But yeah, from what it seems is that once it connects to that main segment, it becomes part of the base itself. So that is very handy because that will allow me to put different spires on this asteroid and each one can act independently and yet act as one, which is fantastic. See, this is what PS4 players and Xbox players get to have fun with here soon. And you guys are not gonna regret a thing grabbing this game because this is gonna be like the dawning of a new method of playing games, a, a dawning of a new era for PS4 and Xbox games if I may say so because this is this game here will totally blow your mind and things that you can achieve um, now if they open it up to mods I will definitely suggest quite a few mods uh, I enjoy playing with a lot of mods and I can definitely offer quite a few up because after a while you're probably not going to want to do all the manual launches so that would be mech jeb especially if you have an active life like uh like mine <laughs> seems to be in spurts so it allows me to actually get something done and also at the same time be able to go and um, do things so i will put something into orbit and then come back later and deal with what i did other times i'll just go to orbit myself <laughs> And boom. Boom. There we go. <laughs> Had to get that one meter per second going on there. Okay, so here's our base. Look at this. That looks so freaking cool. Awesome, and I love the fact that they all interconnect. Okay, so the next thing I need to do is actually go to here, and I need to quick save. Okay, so I have been building, it's taken me a long time to build this, but I have built our next section, and this is a lot of batteries, a lot more storage. So let's finalize our build. Hopefully nothing blows up. Ooh. 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 That was scary for a second because the whole game locked up. Okay. Oh, that's not good. That's totally not good. Let's retract that one before we launch anything. And, uh,. Because once, once we launch this, that's going to come direct contact. And that is not good. Okay. Alright, we should be good here. Let's release it. Okay. Let's get control here. And... Now we need to get ourselves 
away a bit here. Nope, nope, nope. There we go. Okay, we need to get ourselves away and we need to arm this. And now what we need to do is turn our craft in and we're gonna jab this one right into here. Oh, oh, oh god! Okay. Woo. We slowed ourselves down enough so we did not break that solar panel. Holy crap! The shadow is visible. And oh my god, the final seconds of connection are the most stressful. It's so beautiful. Look at it reaching for its own shadow and then bouncing off because reasons. <laughs> and bounce right off. Closing in and. Bouncing off again. Why are we bouncing off? Oh my god. And finally, we have a connection. With the last bit of fuel, last bit of everything, we have a freaking connection. That was really frustrating. Okay, squad, real talk. We need to do something about that that was really annoying and that was a, just persistence that got me through that but that should have should not have been as difficult as it was all right struts are active i have quantum struts on here so that way i can uh offer some stability to this craft all right so that is up and active now we need to do the same thing for this and it struts so let's slide on in and this is just so when the game loads there's not a whole bunch of shaking going on on this because that will cause this entire thing to be destabilized and that's not what I want I don't want this thing to be flopping all over the place no one likes a limp station. All right, one more. I would be fine. I'll be I would be technically fine with the ones I did right there, but I still want to do this last one. Cuz it's on here, I might as well use it if I can get to it. There we go. And activate holy crap Ola that mission is complete that took a lot longer than it should have at any given time ever and clearly it's not spinning it why are you not spinning why are you not spinning there we go <laughs> I got you all the way up here damn it you're gonna spin so here's our base so far we have our civilian spire that sometimes likes to spin there it goes uh and we have our couch which we have a kerbal up here looking really really happy about he just he can't stop talking about it to base as you can see with his oh my god can i get a free camera in here <laughs> Frustration builds! Uh, which also needs to be secured, so let's activate its struts. This one actually uses strut guns, so it just fires a strut right into there. And you can see our happy little Kerbal and a couch meant for four. <laughs> he can't. He cannot stop talking about his excitement about being on this asteroid base. And our main drill, which looks like it is... 
currently sinking into the asteroid for God knows what reason. I don't know what's going on here. Oh, I don't know what happened with this. That is interesting. Our asteroid may be melting or turning into goo or doing that thing that asteroids do, which I don't know. All right, so let's extend this back. And we are back to full capacity. We added in a lot more rocket parts. We added in a, no, a little solar panel array uh, and a civilian living area. So, so far, we are looking like this, which is rather interesting. <laughs> That is that is very very interesting. Oh lord, it was a hideous version of Mr. Potato Head. But that is that. If you like what you see, it hit that like button, drop me in the comment. Let me know what you think. And if you have any hints or tips for the claw for better performance from the claw cuz that was really disappointing to have the claw just bounce off several different times. Uh, after which the first one I know was a good good shot. The second one may have been a little sketchy. The third one should have been okay, but the fourth, that, I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. I'm very disappointed in the inconsistency that I saw there, but it still worked, so I won't get overly frustrated about it. But for now, I am out of here. I will catch you guys in the next video. For now, this is your boy Jatois, and I'm out. Peace. Good Lord. Claw. And a gentle liftoff. Oh, oh, oh god! Oh god! What are you doing? Oh my god! Whoa, 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 whoa! What's going on here? Holy crap!